Welcome to the SAP Finance training course. The main objective of this course is to learn and understand how the financial business processes work in the SAP ERP environment. This course is ideal for finance and accounting graduates, SAP end users and super users, business analysts, and of course anyone who want to understand how the financial processes work in SAP ERP. My name is Nashad Najmuddin. I am the trainer for this course. I am a certified SAP consultant with over a decade of SAP implementation and support experience. I have completed four end-to-end -end life cycles, three global rollout projects and eight continuous business improvement projects. I have had the privilege of working with top tier consulting firms such as SAP Australia, Accenture, IBM, Fujitsu and UXC Oxygen. My academic background is in Information Systems Engineering. I followed up with the MBA majoring in Finance. I am also a certified project management professional and I have multiple certifications in SAP Finance. I am lucky to have the exposure to work across many global projects and I now currently reside in Melbourne, Australia. SAP is the most popular business application software in the world. It is a German company known for making enterprise software to manage business operations. The letters SAP stands for Systems, Applications and Products for Data Processing. It started way back in 1972 with five ex-IBM employees as a small software company in Germany with just one customer. Now, after four decades, the company has grown over 291,000 customers in over 190 countries with more than 70,000 employees. It is the most valued company in the German stock exchange, having overtaken industry heavyweights such as Volkswagen and Siemens, which are over 100-year-old companies. This shows the organic and steady growth of SAP to become the number one business software in the world. SAP has launched many successful products over the last four decades. I've just listed a few over here. Their main flagship product has been SAP ERP Suit. Throughout this course, we will concentrate on the financial processes in the SAP ERP environment. The SAP ERP environment is consisted of many different processes. These have been classified into something called modules. For example, you have the FI module for financial accounting, the CEO module for management accounting or more commonly known as controlling, the MM module for materials management, the ST module for sales and distribution, the PS module for project systems and the HR module for human resources. There are still some more modules available in the SAP ERP environment. I just listed the most popular modules over here. Let's look at the SAP FI module. FI stands for financial accounting, which manages the financial transactions of the organization. The financial transactions are recorded in your balance sheet and income statement or known as a PL account statement. The financial accounting module has many subcomponent modules. The most common ones are general ledger, accounts payable, accounts receivable, asset accounting and banking ledger. So the financial business processes in SAP are sorted according to these submodules. The SAP FI module is also the most commonly implemented module in the SAP ERP environment. Because without the SAP FI module, you will not be able to generate the balance sheet and the income statement for your organization in the SAP ERP suit. 
The CO module in SAP stands for controlling. The word controlling comes because you are able to manage and control the costs of your organization using the CO module reporting. The CO module is also known as the Management Accounting Module of SAP. This module supports the process of planning, reporting and monitoring the operations of the business. It involves around managing the costs and look towards increasing the profitability of your organization. It uses the sub-modules of cost element accounting, cost center accounting, profit center accounting, internal orders, profitability analysis and product costing. Along with the FI module, the CO module also is very popular and is most commonly implemented throughout many business environments. Both the FI and the CO modules form the bulk of the SAP finance business processes. Hence, it's very important that you gain a good understanding of these two modules to be very familiar with the SAP financial processes. Let's look at some prerequisite to learn this SAP finance course. It is ideal if you are coming from a finance or accounting background because the SAP financial process will involve a lot with financial accounting and management accounting. So it's important that you have a basic knowledge of some accounting principles such as debits and credits, what are balance sheet accounts, what are income statement accounts or your P&L accounts, some basic business terminologies such as vendor, customer, inventory, revenue, expenses, cost centers, profit centers, the word profit, assets, etc. Throughout this course, we will be using many of these terminologies quite frequently, hence it becomes very important that you are familiar with the basic accounting principles. Let's look at the SAP finance career paths. You can go down the business path line or the consulting path line. This course is more focused on the business path line. The business path means that you join as an end user or a super user or a business analyst in an organization in your corporate finance or any other finance related departments. This can also be sub departments such as accounts payable, accounts receivables, fixed assets, procurement and so on, anything which is relevant to financial accounting or management accounting processes. Many companies use SAP, especially a lot of multinational companies around the world use SAP such as Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Unilever, Reliance, BHP, Shell and so on. And many of these companies prefer to have users who have prior SAP experience which makes it beneficial for them that they do not have to retrain the users because the SAP process are quite uniform throughout all organizations. The standard SAP transaction codes and the screen layouts are pretty much the same no matter what organizations use SAP in. This makes it easier for you to gain exposure to SAP processes and get experience using SAP transaction codes even if you move to different organizations who use SAP. Many finance and accounting roles advertised by organizations who use SAP prefer to have someone who has SAP experience. They even put this in top of the advertisement mentioning that must have SAP experience or SAP experience preferred, SAP experience decide. Those type of wordings are quite familiar when you see job advertisements where companies are using SAP. Hence, it becomes very useful if you have prior SAP experience, in especially when you are applying for finance roles, it makes it much easier for you to stand out rather than some users who do not have any SAP experience at all. The SAP consulting path is more focused on the becoming an SAP finance consultant. You can achieve this by joining as an analyst in a consulting organization such as Accenture, IBM, TCS, Infosys, CSC, Capgemini and so on. 
There are many consulting companies which offer you a consulting path. As I mentioned, this course is more focused for the business users of SAP, such as an end user, super user, business analyst, or fresh graduates who want to learn more about an SAP finance processes. Let's look at how a typical SAP implementation works. You have your project preparation phase where you do the initial planning of the project, assign the project team members, and do a project kickoff. Then you come on to the business blueprinting phase. In here, you analyze the as is and to be processes, which means how the current organization is running its business and how would it want to do it in future with SAP. You also analyze the organizational structure, find any gaps which you're not able to use within the standard SAP environment and how to overcome those gaps, create the business blueprint documents and also create some functional specifications for the technical team. This will be shared by both the business analyst and the SAP finance consultants. It's very important that you get your business blueprint phase correct because any changes after the implementation will be costly and time consuming. So hence it's very important that during the business blueprint phase, you iron out all the differences and foresee any future risks or future processes which needs to be amended. Hence you address them in your business blueprint phase and document them and find the relevant solutions. After the business blueprint phase is signed off, you go on to the realization phase. This is where the SAP consultants will do the basic configurations. They will also perform some unit testing within the environment and some integration testing with all the SAP modules just to ensure that the processes are working properly. During the final preparation phase, many end users, super users and business analysts will be heavily involved, especially with stress and volume tests user acceptance tests, user training, data migration, and cutover strategies. This stage is very important before you go live in a project. Then after the final preparation has been signed off, you go on to the go live phase. After a particular date, the project is set to go live and then you have critical business support. Again, at this time, the business users and the SAP function consultants will work closely for a few months to ensure that the business is running smoothly with the SAP implementation. As an end user, super user or a business analyst, it's very important that you are actively involved in all these phases of the SAP project. Going from the project preparation to go live and understanding how the SAP has been implemented in your organization will give you a good insight of how the processes in your organizations have been mapped in the SAP environment. Sometimes you might join an organization where they have already run SAP and going live. So you will be coming during the support phase or ongoing business improvement phase of the project. Even after a go live of a project, after a few years, the organization might do a restructuring or they might want to bring in new additional processes. Hence, they will be configured, mapped and will follow a similar phase like this to ensure that the new processes are mapped into the existing structure. I hope you will find this SAP Finance course very useful in furthering your knowledge. I wish you the very best in pursuing a successful SAP Finance career path.